Hey, you guys. So we are actually getting really close to the end of our toothpick geometry. This is the next to last challenge. So for this challenge, you are going to need to make your three by three array using 24 toothpicks. So go ahead and make that design and come back. All right, for the challenge, today you are moving four toothpicks to make only eight triangles and only seven squares. So your design is still going to have all 24 toothpicks. You're just moving four of the toothpicks around. So again, you are trying to make eight triangles and only seven squares. And just like with some of the last challenges, don't forget that sometimes you can have smaller squares inside bigger squares or smaller triangles inside bigger triangles. So go ahead, pause this video, move four toothpicks to make only eight triangles and only seven squares. All right, so hopefully you did a lot of guessing and checking, didn't give up, kept persevering. Um, so I'm going to start by showing you which four toothpicks you could have moved. And just so you know, there are probably other options, and I'd love to see your other options if you figured that out. Okay, so I've moved these four toothpicks. I'm going to show you where they are going to now go. One, two, three, four. And we kind of need to pretend that these toothpicks do form one continuous line. All right, so let's make sure that we do have eight triangles and seven squares. I'm going to start with the squares because those are just a little bit easier for me to see anyway. So I've got one, two, three, four, five small squares, this sixth square, and then actually the entire outline of the design is our seventh square. Okay, so now for the triangles. We have got one, two, three, four small triangles. Then if you combine any of those two triangles together, you have a bigger one. So that was our fifth triangle. Right here would be our sixth triangle. Right here would be our seventh triangle. And then our eighth triangle. See you again next time.